Our off-the-rack clothing line, the world's first, is selling like hotcakes, but now our customers want standardized sizing. So we base the men's sizes on the waist and the inseam. Therefore, if a man's waist is measured at 40 inches, that man's pants size 40. Simple. And women's sizing? Uh, uh, well, we've uh, run into a problem with the women's sizing. We want to size women's clothes like men's, but we can't. Really? We worry that the women may be too fragile to handle the large numbers that's uh, directly associated with the uh, size around their, their waists. Uh. Could you imagine calling a, a woman a size 32? Uh, that may be emotionally detrimental. Sure. My wife would scream if she had to tell people she was a 32. That's, that's big. That's large. And can women even count to 32? I have an idea. What if we base women's sizes on bust size alone? So breast measurement would be the sole component of sizing. Exactly! I mean, the breast is the best part of the lady, so why not make sure the clothes fit the breasts best? Mmm, and it rhymes. I like that. Mmm, I like it, but unfortunately the research tells us that breast size is an inaccurate way to size clothing. Mm, sounds like a woman came up with that faulty research. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I think I've got it. For a size 25, we simply take the woman's bust size and we divide it by her waist size. Mm -hmm. Then we subtract 1.3 times the square root of the factorial of the length of her pinky finger. Mm -hmm. We add the temperature at which she ovulates mm -hmm. and subtract the average number of times that she vacuums the carpet each year. Mm -hmm. Borrow the four. Hmm. Factor in Joe DiMaggio's 1941 batting average. 357. Yes, it's 17. We add the number of links by which Shutout won the 1942 Kentucky Derby. Mm -hmm. Three! Damn it. Lost a lot of money on that day. Finally, we divide by the number of martinis that Sweeney here drank last night. <laughs> Ten! <laughs> That's right! I'm still drunk! <laughs> and that gives us a wonderful size two. A size two? Size two. Size two. Oh! Well, two, that's... That's wholly acceptable. That's fantastic. Size two. Two. Well, that's genius. And correct. Put those into production immediately. Oh, also, what if we change sizes slightly and inconsistently throughout the year just to uh, make the women feel like they're getting slimmer? Slightly and inconsistently. I like that. That just makes good sense. It does. And we can even invent sizes. Like extra small. No, extra, extra, extra small. Ooh. Or, or zero. We can call a woman a zero. Maybe mm. double zero. Double zero? That sounds very, very small. Uh, how about petite? Petite. Oh, petite. petite. French. Non I like the French. Absolutely. So that way, even the largest of women would never feel as if she's larger than large. She will never know she's large. That I like. My wife would like that. She won't be able to wait to shop here. As if she needs added incentive to spend my hard-earned man money. <laughs> <laughs>